factory pattern in Python. The factory pattern is a creational pattern that defines an interface for creating an object and defers instantiation until runtime. And it's used for when you don't know how many or what type of objects will be needed until runtime. Okay, so what we have here is a, uh, in the image above, is a client. And the client wants a new object. So we can ask the objects factory here, to get it a new object, and it will return the new object. The object it will return will be of type one of these concrete classes, say class A, class B, class C. And all of these classes, they implement the I class interface. Now, my naming scheme probably isn't perfect, but this is just for demonstration purposes. What I'll show you now is another version of that image, which applies that same concept to a chair. So in this image, app.py will call the chair factory and ask it to return a chair of any particular type of chair that the factory knows about. And the factory knows about small chair, medium chair, or big chair, and they all implement the iChair interface. What I'll do is quickly demonstrate a real world application of the uh, factory pattern. So over here on the left, I have a, well, let's just say this is a chair factory on the left. I want some chairs, I want that chair. So I've asked the factory to give me that kind of chair. Here's another kind of chair and here's another kind of chair. And so we have some chairs. That was the factory giving me some chairs. Let's start coding. First thing I'll do is I'll create a file and I'll call it chairfactory.py. I'm going to import a helper module called ABC, ABC Meta, and Abstract Static Method. I'll use those two. I'll explain how what this is used for in a moment. But at the moment, this just assists me to enforce the rules of the interface. Let's create an interface as described by this function, the iChair interface there. Okay, class iChair. And that will uh, implement uh, meta, meta class ABC meta. I'll demo that in a minute, what that's for. Anyway abstract method define dimension define get dimensions di dimensions okay this is a an interface so the interface doesn't uh, have any method bodies so at the moment we can just do pass actually i can do because i've been because I've included the abstract static method, I can actually just get away with that completely. The pass is useless. I can just, for the purposes of linting, I can just have a comment. Okay, there we go. That is my iChair interface. Now we're going to create some concrete classes that implement that interface. So let's go try class big uh, chair uh, that implements the i chair and it's the big chair let's create an init function init and we'll give it some attributes self dot height equals 80 for 80 centimeters self dot width equals 80 and self dot depth equals 80 excellent now we'll define the required function from the interface and that is get dimensions get dimensions and it will return return a dictionary with height so I'm going to put self in there, self, self dot, actually, yes, self dot height, uh, width, self dot width, and de uh, depth, self dot 
steps. Okay, so it's going to return a dictionary. Self. All right. Okay, so that's the big chair. Now let's just, I'll create some more chairs in the moment, but first I'll create the factory. So class uh, chair factory. And that will have one method in it, which will be called get uh, define get chair right and this is just a static method so I'm just going to write this static static method doesn't need self in it doesn't need to refer to self so get chair so let's try um, get chair um, I'm going to get kind of chair type okay so if chair type equals a big chair, big chair, then la will return a chair, a big chair, sorry, a big chair, like so. Excellent. Except, okay, and, we, and if we get to this part and we haven't found our chair yet, we will just raise an assertion error. Uh, chair not found. Okay, so accept assertion error as E print E. Radio that. Uh, okay, I need that. Okay. Excellent. If name equals main colon. Okay, let's create a chair factory. Chair equals chair factory dot get chair big chair. And now let's print um, chair dot get dimensions. Excellent. Let's see what that does now. So uh, per Python, uh, factory.py name is not defined. Where did I? Of course. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that's given me the chair back, a chair that I've created the big chair. Let's uh, do some more here. I'll create a medium chair very, very quickly and a small chair so we've got a medium 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 chair and that is 70 70 70 and this is a small chair uh, and that is uh, 60 60 60 okay so let's uh let's try getting us a, a medium a small chair and see what happens there Chair factory is a none type. All right, chair not found. Rightio. So what I need to do is add the the uh, conditions here in the uh, in the factory method as well. So we want a medium chair, medium medium chair. Um, we'll turn return a medium chair and a uh, small chair. A chair type small chair will turn a small chair. Okay, there we go. So we have a uh, a big chair and a small chair. So while I'm here, I'll print out the uh, types of these chairs here. Chair chair dot class. And uh, chair dot dimensions. Here we go. Let's do the same down there. The first one is a big chair. The next one is a small chair. You can see down here. We can do that for the third chair as well, the medium chair. But that is the factory. That is my chair factory. Chair factory, get chair. Let's just look at that image again. This is what I built. 
There's my client. It's called a chair factory to give it some chairs. And first time and asked for the big chair and the big chair implements the iChair interface. And asked for a small chair the second time. I think there's a lot of information there. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.